Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to factor perfect square trinomials. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let me show you how to factor out expressions or polynomials that are considered as perfect square trinomials. These expressions are called perfect square trinomials because it has three terms at the same time this one can be expressed as the square of binomial. By the way, before we start, let me give you a brief context or saan ba manggagaling pattern natin in squaring or in factoring a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is a product of squaring a binomial. Example, we have a plus b and we will square it. To expand this one, we can square natin to Simply square the first term, that is a square, then copy the sign at the middle. Then what you need to do is to multiply 2a and b, and that is 2ab. Lastly, square the second term, that is b square. Another pattern that we have a minus b raised to the second power. To get the perfect square trinomial, in squaring this expression or polynomial, square the first term, that is a square, copy, the sign, then 2 times a times b, that is minus 2ab, square the last term, that is plus b squared. Actually, ito yung pattern na gagamitin natin on how to square a trinomial. Now let's start with item number 1. For number 1, we are given x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, let me show you the way on how to factor it manually. First, we will get the factors of x squared. What are the factors of x squared? That is x times x. And then, if you know factoring, first, you need to think, what are the two numbers that when you multiply, the product is 9, but when you add them, the sum is equal to 6? Okay, very good. The answers are positive 3 and positive 3. So we will put here plus 3 and then plus 3. Remember, huh? what I'm doing is the normal way on how to factor trinomials. That later on, I will give you the shortcut on how to factor a perfect square trinomial. Now, let's check muna. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 plus 3 is 6. Now, these are the factors. We have x plus 3 times x times 3. Now, kung you check natin, sir, uh, when we multiply this, can we get this perfect square trinomial? Yes, by FOIL method. Let's check. x times x is x squared x times 3 is plus 3x, 3 times x plus 3x, 3 times 3 is plus 9, and when you simplify it, that is x squared plus 6x plus 9. As you can see, we can arrive to the same trinomial at the top. Ngayon, sir, what is the answer? This is the answer x plus 3 times x plus 3. Pero meron ba, meron ba tayong shortcut? Yes, we do have. First, gagawin mo dito, prepare ka ng dalawang parenthesis, tapos, get the square root of the first term. What is the square root of the first term? x squared. The square root is x. Gagawin mo dito. Lastly, get the square root of the last term or the constant. The square root of 9 is 3. Copy the middle sign. That is plus. And actually, atin factors natin guys ha. Pwede natin express yung atin factors as square of binomial since they are the same. So the factors or the answer is simply x plus 3 raised to the second power or ito mismo. So I hope na nakuha niyo yung number 1 natin. Now let me show you how to do it in example number 2. 
we have 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. So, prepare mo na tayo dalawang parentheses. Let's have the factor. Get the square root. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x, meaning the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Copy the sign. Plus, plus, the square root of 9 is 3. Now, parehas? Yes. We'll express our factors as the square of binomial. So, it will be expressed as 2x plus 3. And these are the possible answers. Now, let's move on with another example. In our next example, what we have here is this. 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Prepare lang tayong dalawang set of parentheses. Square root of the first term. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of x squared is x. And as you can see, we have here subtraction symbol. Let's put here minus, minus. The square root of 4 is 2. And these are the possible factors. We can express this one as the square of binomials. We have 3x minus 2 raised to the second power. Now, you can pause the video for a while and let's try, and you can try number 4. You can pause the video. Now guys, let's try number 4. We are given 81x squared minus 36xy plus 4y squared. Don't worry about the variable at the end because madali lang yan. Prepare tayo ng dalawang sets ng parentheses. Square root of 81 is 9. Square root of x squared is x. So, that is 9x. Copy the sign. Minus, minus. Get the square root of the last term. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of y squared is y. So, this must be 2y. And express your factors as the square of binomials so we can have 9x minus 2y raised to the second power. Now guys, as part of our routine, again, if you are following our tutorial videos, I will give you an activity wherein I will ask you to factor in number 5, wherein the given is x squared plus 10x plus 25. For number 6, you have x squared minus 10x plus 25. So I hope guys na masagutan nyo to sa ating comment section. Please comment down below what are the factors of these items. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!